today I'm going to be doing a video on an album where I bought from a place called Cosmetics Plus. Um, I'm pretty sure it's just an Australian company. Um, but you can buy all of the stuff that I bought off um, the website. So I will put the website for everything I bought in the down bar. So today I'm going to start off with my makeup that I bought. I'm actually going to start off with this one here. So this is a BYS. I don't know if you can see it because I've got pretty crap lighting in here today. My camera just does not seem to want to focus. But this is the BYS 8 Cavity Palette. Now I bought this empty and then I bought the little eyeshadow discs to go into it. But I'll open it up and show you what it looks like on the inside. So this is the palette, so it's got the big mirror which is awesome, um, and then you've got your eight cavities, it did come with a little brush in the side here, but it is a cheap brush so I probably won't use that one. So um, I will start with this from um, yeah. Gat. The eight cavity palette was only $8, which is pretty cheap I thought. Um, so I'll start off with all the eyeshadows I bought, so this one here is um, a cream palette, so it's a cream white. Um, this is also BYS. All these eyeshadows are BYS. Um, so that one there is cream white, so it's a color 900. It is a 1.6 gram. Now, not all of them are the same gramage, just because I couldn't get all the colors that I picked in the same gram. So that's a 1.6. Um, and all of these eyeshadows were $2 each. That's pretty cheap. Um, so the one below it is a white color 300, that one there is a 2 gram. Um, then you've got the one at the top there, that is a pale pink, which is color 301, and that's a 2 gram as well. Then the one below it is a light pink, which is color 302, and it's a 1.6 gram. Then you have the one at the top here, which is a metallic red, which is color 810, and I'm pretty sure that was a 1.6 gram. Then you've got your matte grey, which is, just bear with me for a second, I think it is a colour 122, which is a 1.6 gram. Then the top colour here is a metallic grey, that is a colour 818, and that's also a 1.6. And then the bottom here is um, a glitter black, and that is uh, colour 125, and that's a 2 gram. Do excuse me, if I'm talking too fast, I do apologise. I, I tend to ramble on when I'm doing these things. But there are their colours there. And they're generally, I'll just hold it up properly so you can see it. So there are your pale pinks, your pinks, your reds, your greys, and your blacks. Those types of colours. Um, they're the only colours I got just because... They're generally the colours that I wear the most. I'm not really one for that much colour. Um, just because I'm a pink girl at heart. I like my pink. So that was that. So that was pretty cheap. Now, your BYS um, brand is a fairly cheap brand of makeup. Um, but even though it is cheap, I find that it works really, really nicely. All the eyeshadows um, are beautiful. Um, your, your nail polishes and all that sort of thing are fantastic. I love their stuff. Um, it is a good alternative for people who are on a bit of a budget like myself. Um, I love my MAC makeup and stuff like that, but I can't always afford to get it, so this is a good alternative to that sort of stuff. So that's that. Um, so the next thing I will show you guys is the makeup brushes I bought. So I'm going to start with my foundation brush. So that is a BYS, I don't know if you can see foundation brush there. It is really nice and fluffy. Love it to death. I actually already have used this one, but I love it so much. This one was only $10, so that's a pretty good price for, um, for a brush, because the brushes can get quite expensive. So that was that one. Uh, then I have this one here. This is a BYS eyeshadow smudge brush, so that's that one there, so that's the end of that, and it's really soft and fluffy as well. And it is just like a little flat smudge brush to, to give you that uh, seamless eyeshadow look between the different colours. So that was that. That one was only $4. So that's that one. Now I have actually a couple of these ones. These are concealer brushes. So that's the 
your BYS concealer and that's the, the little bristles there, it is a flat brush. I actually use these for my eyeshadows and stuff like that, which are, they work really great with your eyeshadows. Um, and this was only $4 as well, so that's that particular one. Now the next one is a lip brush. Now this one is a Maybelline New York um, Expert Tools lip brush. It actually comes in a little cylinder like this, so you take the top off, so you've got your two things, and I know there's no brush there, but if you pop your thinner one into your larger one, it's got a round bottom there, pop that in, push it down, and your brush comes up there, so that's your little lip brush there, and I'll just show you what you guys, it's called so it's a Maybelline Expert Lip Brush, so that's that one. When you finished it, you just pull it up like that, take it out, and pop it in, and it stores away your lip brush perfectly, so that's really good for your handbags and things like that. That particular one there was uh, $4.95, so that's a pretty cheap one um, as well, but I find that they do work really, really well. Um, just as good as some of your more expensive brushes as well. So that's really it for my brushes and my makeup that I bought today. Um, now I also did buy the BYS um, eyelashes. So that's those there. They have little diamantes on the eyelashes. I don't know if you can see that. Now if you're like me who wears a lot of um, fake eyelashes when you go out and things like that just to you know complete your look. I myself don't like spending a lot of money on stuff I know that's not going to last. So I buy the BYS ones because they have quite a large range of different eyelashes. They have like uh, feather eyelashes, multicolored eyelashes, your diamante ones, your plain black ones. They've got heaps and heaps. And these are only $4.95. So I know that is cheap, but they really do work great for many different looks. I use these all the time and I love them. So that's that. Um, next I will go show you guys these little headbands. I bought these headbands. So that's them there. There's a cute, there is a pink, two light pinks and a white. They're your individual headbands like that. These are just your plain ones. Um, they come in a pack of four and they were only four dollars for this pack. And if you're like me, you can wear them plain, but I actually bought them because I'm going to be making them into um, headbands with like the little flowers and stuff on the sides. So that's what I got those for. And they were only $4. So that's so cheap. But they're the really nice, thick, elastic ones. So I like that. So that was those. Now, the next thing I bought was this here. This is called your ice cream cone hairband holder. So it actually is like the little plastic ice cream cone there. And it actually has a ball of airbands of various shades of pink, so you've got like your light pink, your dark pink, and the metallic pink there. Now if you're like me, I lose and break my headbands all the time, and I can never find one when I want one, and I have really long hair, so I like to have my hair tied back when I'm out or at work or whatever, so I've got those, and it's super cute, and I wasn't intending on buying this, but I threw it at the counter and I couldn't pass it up, so I got that as well. This is only four dollars, believe it or not, for that cute little thing there as well. So that was that one. Um, and the last two things I bought were actually Revlon nail polishes because I love my nail polish. Um, so the first one I'll start with is this one. This is um, from the Revlon Scented Collection. Now I don't know if you can see it, but it is actually really nice pale pink, and it's called Cotton Candy. So that's that one. And the good thing about these ones are when they actually dry on your nails, they actually have a scent to them. I haven't tried this one yet, so I'm assuming it'll be like a sweet uh, cotton candy smell. These are only $4.95, which is a fantastic price for your nail polishes. So that's that one. Um, and then the last one I bought is from the Revlon Glimmer Gloss Collection. So that one there, it's a, a really nice like hot sparkly pink colour. So that's that one. And it's called Strawberry Sizzle uh, 635. So that's that one there. I haven't tried this one yet either, so I can't wait to redo my nails. As you can see, they're pretty crap at the moment. Um, that was $4.95 as well. So that's all I bought today from Cosmetics Plus. And like I said, I will put all the links and everything in the down bar. 
Um, I also will be featuring my nail polishes in my new, in my, well, not my new, but in my nail polish collection as well because I've had someone ask me to do a video on my nail polish collection and my perfume collection. So I'll also be doing those videos today as well. Have a good day. Bye.